Hi everyone, this is Rajdeep Banerjee. Welcome to English is Easy with RV. In this video, I'm going to discuss three words that can define the very reality of 2018. You can say these are the words of the year for me. So, stay tuned. The first word we're going to learn today is filter bubble. It refers to the intellectual isolation that can occur when websites assume the kind of information a user is looking for and then give the information to the user according to that assumption. But what does it mean? Let's try to understand this with an example. Imagine there are a lot of political parties. X, Y, Z, you name it. Now you are a supporter of X or at least your family supports X. Now you started surfing the internet to watch videos which said good things about the political party your family supports. You watched at least say 3-4 videos. So what exactly did YouTube understand about your nature? It felt that since you like watching these kinds of videos it should recommend you more videos of this sort right and that is what happens for example if you are watching this video at this moment then you might have noticed that in the suggested column you have other videos which might be related to the topic i'm dealing with at this moment yeah so what happens is since the internet or at least these websites are selecting certain kinds of videos or at least videos that provide you certain kinds of information you are limiting yourself in a cocoon what does it mean an intelligent person an intellectual person would like to see a certain thing from various perspectives you won't get that opportunity why because based on the kind of information you have been looking for the internet websites have selected certain kind of material for you because it believes that you would like to watch uh, you would like to watch these kinds of videos or so you are being isolated from other perspectives, from other kinds of reading materials, from other kinds of videos, which might see the same thing from a different perspective. So what happens when you look at something from just one perspective, you become ignorant. Yes, you become ignorant. Why? because you are living in a bubble a bubble that is created with material videos reading articles from the internet that you like and since you are more comfortable reading these kinds of materials watching these kinds of videos then you would never get to see the other kinds of videos on the same topic because your bubble filters that it only takes in what you prefer it only takes in what you like you live in a filter bubble that's why you are intellectually isolated did you get me? If you are not able to understand it, please comment below. I would respond to your queries. The next word that we are going to learn today is echo chamber. It refers to a closed system where certain beliefs and ideas are reinforced in such a manner that it does not allow other competing ideas to thrive what does it mean you might have seen that there are certain films which are extremely poorly made but still are 
advertised in such a manner by the fans and fanatics uh, as if they have done an extraordinary job although everyone knows it's a stupid film and whoever says that it's not a good film they are criticized they are trolled you might have seen that there are a lot of people who are absolutely intolerant towards the beliefs of other people they're so so intolerant that they can go to any extent to reinforce their beliefs point of views they don't care about what others think they don't care about how others lead their lives when you live in this sort of a system the system can be a society as well you can call it an echo chamber because in an echo chamber there is no room for other beliefs there is no room for other point of views to thrive did you get me if you are not able to understand this word please comment i would respond to you the moment i see your comment the third and final word for today is post truth it's an adjective it's often used with politics post truth politics is a very very famous expression it relates to or denotes circumstances where objective facts are less influential than appeals to human emotions and personal beliefs imagine there is a situation where certain political leaders came to you and said that if you don't vote for us then the other party would come in power and your religion would be in danger did you get me so did you get me the appeal to your emotion to your personal beliefs now this is just an example it doesn't have to be religious beliefs it could be just something that you are quite emotional about which makes you ignore the fact that the people who are trying to convince you to vote in favor of them have criminal records as well but you voted for them because you became a victim of post truth politics did you get me if you are unable to understand any of these words you can always comment below i would give you more examples i would explain it in a far more vivid manner I hope you got to learn something new until next time this is RB signing off